Welcome top news today. Published 0134 est the 1st of January 2018 updated 0935 est the 1st of January 2018 on Sunday evening former FBI director James Comey took to Twitter to share his hopes for the new year. Comey wrote in the post, seemingly aimed at President Donald Trump here's hoping 2018 brings more ethical leadership, focused on the truth and lasting values. Happy New Year, everybody. The president fired Comey back in May, and has said he was acting on the recommendation of Justice Department leaders who had faulted the FBI director for releasing derogatory information about Hillary Clinton at the conclusion of the email server investigation months earlier. Last Saturday, amid reports that FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, a frequent Trump target, intended to retire, the president also tweeted and took aim at Comey. Former FBI Director James Comey took to Twitter Sunday to share his hopes for 2018, which include more ethical leadership. James Comey listens during a Senate Intelligence Committee hearing in Washington, D.C., U.S. On Thursday, June 8, 2017, President Trump is pictured with Sun Baron arriving for a New Year's party at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida. On Sunday, I wrote, how can FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, the man in charge, along with Lincoln James Comey, of the phony Hillary Clinton, Clinton investigation including her 33,000 illegally deleted emails be given $700,000 for wife's campaign by Clinton puppets during investigation. The irony is most politicians would recognize that perpetuating silence post-firing would have been the most effective course. Jacob Frankel, a Washington defense lawyer and former prosecutor told the Associated Press. In event charges are brought or impeachment proceedings are begun, that kind of inconsistent messaging would present entertaining fodder for cross-examination, Frenkel explained that also, could provide material that could be used to challenge a witness credibility. By the same token, the evolving messaging could oddly benefit Trump by making it difficult for prosecutors to attach any one motive or reason such as a desire to shut down the Russia investigation for Comey's firing. Once you start picking on one tweet or one message then it becomes, what about this tweet or that message? You're constantly having competing messages, he added, last Saturday, amid reports that FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, a frequent Trump target intended to retire, the president also tweeted to Kamer Comey Trump shakes hands with Comey during an inaugural law enforcement offices and first responders reception in the Blue Room of the White House in Washington, D.C., U.S., on Sunday, Jan. 22, 2017.